your pusher man. I'm your pusher man. Hey, that didn't sound too good. That would be much. Shout out to the classics. I'm your pusher man. Pusher man. Pusher man. Pusher man. If you know about that pusher man, see I know about that pusher man. You know about that pusher man? Yes. I do. I'm your pusher man. Somebody that I worked with the other days, like when you when you know when you know someone knows about certain like certain things like classical um, just movies and music from your childhood, it's like you've been raised right. You've been, been putting you've been in the hands of some good people because um, just to know just to know something that not everybody knows, but it's a, like due to like a like heritage that's subjective or, but, but it's, I, subjective. it's a cult classic yeah like classic cult stuff. classics and because classics. not everybody knows about and cultural classics. classics cause not everybody knows about classics not everybody knows about those I'm chosen one hmm? if you know about that <laughs> you know about chosen I rock one. with you I rock with you <laughs> if you know about that chosen one <laughs> I'm coming I'm coming <laughs> That's, 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 and that's what I'm saying. If, if you was raised, I'm gonna say raised right, but because not everybody likes that. The world of art and that art and creation just is able to bind and bring people together, just off of either enjoying the art or even not, or just even a discussion about something. The idea See, that was a particular whole, movie, but mm -hmm. whether it's music, a painting, um, film a book, or whatever type of art, or really anything, like the fact that it's able to bring people together um, in a joyous, uh, in a way, that's that's cool. Yes. You know, because you can say something, or quote a movie line, quote a song. And that could, but that, that time, it brings you back to a time, but that will also bring nostalgic. that person back to a time. Yes, I mm -hmm. love that. Because um, yeah. just music and styles of movies and things like that will always bring you back to a place like Spongebob and Cat Dog and mm -hmm. things like that. When you ever think about those, it's just a... It's a you know what I think of Cat Dog? You know what I think of when I think of Cat Dog? What's up? I think of being in a two-family apartment in Queens, yes. eating spaghetti with mad salt on it. Okay. Now you that's very that. descriptive. Yeah, you lost me at the, the spaghetti and salt. You put a lot of salt in your spaghetti once? Yeah. That don't work out well. Nah, <laughs> but I was a kid and I did it. Cause you but that's the feel. Like when I when I think of cat dog, you think I can about like that day. it just not even a day really, but it just brings me back to, to that whole no, that cause whole thing. Yeah, that when we was living, living, like, yeah, it just it brought me back to living in that two family apartment in Queens and eating spaghetti with mad salt. That's what cat dog brings me back to. Ooh, oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. Oh, you play, oh, you play. Yeah. I see oh, they stuck yeah. up the side.
Sleep back, working. Trying to get sleep. my sleep. Gotta get that sleep. You know, I, I was thinking, like, I made that the list about the top ten feelings. I don't want to add this to the top ten best feelings in the world, but this is a very close to the list, and that is guilt-free sleep. Guilt-free sleep. I would put that up there. Right. No, I. You can find some better, but that's a really close for me. Like, that's really There's not much better than that. Uh, guilt-free sleep, right? Because you need that. That's one. That's something that you need. But when it's when you're not guilty, because sometimes like I'm tired, but I gotta do this. It's not that. But when you can go to sleep need, because you you did a you need that guilt-free sleep. We live in a system where we are trained to work, sleep. You know, get our eight hours, this, that, and the third. But Naturally, does that lack of sleep? That's not that's not in our best interest. That's not how we're designed. But get your checkups, people. You know, um, I went to the doctor recently, and I just had like flu symptoms, and I thought just the, just the, the things that I was having, like headaches, throwing up, and things like that. Um, I just knew something wasn't right. But going, I realize, but going to the doctor, just by even speaking to a doctor eases your mind. Mm -hmm. Because because we're not doctors, and because you don't feel like yourself, your mind can be uh, left to wander, and you can just be like, man, what's going on? Because I was getting headaches, and it's actually not the flu, but it was a lot of just inflammation 
that's built up, which is blocking my nasal cavities and things due like to what? that. Due to what? Through, um, due to the food? Due to phlegm, something like that. Just to, just to shift up, just the shift of the which weather. What we said before is the phlegm, but it's also, I mean, you don't even eat dairy products. Yeah, but no, but it's the shift of the weather, mm-hmm. you know, your, your allergies and, you know, things you're inhaling now a little differently, yeah. you know, just the temperature, you know, that plays a role, but getting them checkups is a good thing. It's important to get checked. And even, like, I hate to go to the doctor. Now, it was funny because the Uber driver I was, I was talking to at, when I was going to the doctor was saying, yeah, men, we we don't we do not do the doctor thing. Like, we kind of self-medicate. Yo, I'm fine. If I, you know, we good. We, we're natural kind of kind of dudes or kind of people. Um, and I agree with that because I, I, I don't like going to the doctor, like, getting checked out and poked at and looked. But it's always best to get, get the information early before things we come too late. That's right. Because you could put it off for a while, but when the shit hit the fan, and then you really got some yeah. going on, I, I, and it's I, I, like, I, damn, I could have just kind of looked at this sooner. And I don't want to be that person. And I know just from... Don't want to be that person. Yeah, my personal experience of not liking a doctor. It's not about not liking a doctor, but liking your well-being enough to um, go see what... are raised into men but you're raised to kind of brush things off like Mm. as a kid or as a boy you know you're trained to be like tough you're trained to force yourself to be tough whether it's your parent peers that you're in school with other kids or stuff that's on tv stuff that's in the media that trains you to be like fuck the feelings fuck the emotion fuck the pain fight through it because you're not trying to be a biz naive. Which sucks because no one's trying to yeah, be a biz naive. Nobody want to be a biz naive. But with that, you do run the risk of ignoring certain symptoms that are giving you a direct answer. Or your body's giving you a direct answer. Or, or a direct sign. A direct sign. But you, you just ignore it. Yes. And so, 
I think for us as men who are trained to do that, one is to not pass that on to the next generation. Mm -hmm. Is to not have our kids run around like biz naive. Business. But because you don't want to walk around like no business, naive. but you do want to still be in tune with the feelings. So to be able to express a certain whether yes, it's pain, no, it's so funny. That's, that's whether, good. Know, it's I'm pain, good. That's good. Mental or Physical. you know psychological, right. same thing. Yeah. Um, like you, you, you want to be able to at least articulate where it's coming from. Try to get to the root of the feeling. Feel the feeling because. You don't want to be ignoring stuff because by the time you ignore it for too long, eventually you just be so immune and so unattached and so unaware that it would yeah. be too late for you. You'd just be walking around like, oh, I don't know I had that issue, but you had that issue for 10, 20 years. You just kept like suppressing it. So yes. let's be more open, more honest with ourselves. I'm walking the streets alone You wish that I would come home Do I give you anxiety? Am I making it hard to breathe? You think that I'm wasting time That I'm wasting time Feel like I'm losing my mind You know you're the one for me But you stay chasing You all up in my face like I ain't crazy I got nothing to say cause I ain't crazy you Need a break, on vacation Let's go to Jamaica I've been working towards change But you always wanna pay for everything Running game so you can make me stay in your PlayStation This love, there I say Is erotic asphyxiation A product of misbehavior I'm tired of the fits and anger I'm tied up in confrontation I feel like I'm being strangled This relationship is dangerous Ship is sank, we walked the plank, and you didn't even attempt to save us. So frustrated. Cause it's hard to complain when you're amazing. Can't get away quick enough when you're raging. All the while, I'm just trying to be patient. Try not to go back to my old ways. Try not to spaz out like the old days. It's complicated. Cause when I say you take my breath away, I'm suffocating. I don't hate you. And I'm so grateful. We're not the same. So maybe you should find someone you can truly relate to. First, love yourself. When that day comes, you deserve standing ovations. And if we face to face again, give me mouth to mouth resuscitation.